Anyang hasayo. Hi everyone. Um, welcome to Math Trash. Hope that you're doing fine so far for your math. So today we are going to talk about how to identify the height of a triangle if you are given the base. So for this uh, portion, um, I'm not going to use any papers yet. I'm going to do some um, demonstration on how to find height. So. Hopefully, it's uh, slightly more different from previous um, videos. Without further ado, let's start. So over here, I'm going to introduce you two triangles, right? There are a few different kinds of triangles. One is isosceles, um, right angle triangle. And over here, this is a right angle triangle, okay? This one is slightly different. This is an obtuse uh, triangle where you can see one of the angles is more than 90 degrees. So we are going to try to find the height using these two triangles to help. So what is a triangle anyway is that a triangle is a three-sided figure. So this is a triangle, this is a triangle as long as it's three-sided and when uh, the point all meets, um, it's a triangle. Okay, there's three corners, right? So as you can see, um, both triangles, the corners are colored you know, differently. So let's talk about this triangle because it's much easier to explain. So first, uh, first of all, uh, we're trying to find the height of a, uh, the triangle. So if you, if you want to find the height of the triangle, the base is very important because ultimately um, you are required to find the area, area of triangle. And to find the area, you need to know the base and height. The formula is half times base times height. So how do you know what is the base and what is the height? So first question to you is, um, what is the definition of the word base? Okay, so base is actually something that is supported, right, from maybe a ground, okay? So let's say this triangle, what is the base of the triangle, okay? All sides can be the base of the triangle and the height changes accordingly. So let's say you're given this side during the exam, you need to find the height, how are you going to do so? So this um, small demonstration will help you understand maybe better, hopefully. Right, so first I'm going to place it down on the table. Why? Because that is the base. Okay, the base is uh, whatever that is contact between this piece of paper and the table. So the base is from this tip of this purple to the tip of this green. That's the base. Right. So what is the height then? The height has to come from the other corner, which is the orange one. So over here we need to memorize something. Okay. So remember to always go to the other corner. Okay the lonely corner which is the orange corner right and then I'm gonna use a ruler okay okay do you see that this tip here is 90 degrees yeah because it's perpendicular and the height actually means the perpendicular distance from the height to the base so it's gonna be from this tip okay go down all the way until you touch the ground the base and the height would be okay let me measure the height would be somewhere here, which is 11.5 cm. Alright, so the height is 11.5 cm using the ruler from the tip of this triangle down to the base. Okay, so that's identifying the base and the height. Okay, right angle triangle is uh, relatively much more easier than the other triangle. So let's focus on this triangle. Now, we already settled this part as the base. So can there be another base? Yes, there can. So over here, the base now here is the green color and the orange corner. So over here, where must your height come from? Okay, the other corner. It always has to be the other corner that is not touching the base the ground okay so the purple one has to be the height from this tip of this purple okay down to the base that would be the height so let's use the help of the ruler okay so from the tip of this purple line uh, purple corner down all the way to the base and we realize that hey it's also the same uh, measurement is 11.5 as well Okay, so over here, I want you to remember the base of the corners are touching the ground. So the other corner have to be the height, where the height comes from. All right. So right now we already did this side as the base and this side as the base. So now 
We're gonna use this as the base. Now tell me, what is the base of this triangle now? Which is the orange corner and the purple corner. So since these two are used up, what's the other corner? The green corner. So now, the height would come from this tip of this green color down to the base. So as you can see, I'm pointing to the tip and then the ruler goes down all the way until it touches the ground. So the height here, okay, if you measure, it's 8 cm. So this is the height of this triangle. Okay, given that the base is from this orange to purple. So that's the thing you need to find. Once you already know the base, remember the lonely, con lonely corner has to be where the height starts from. Okay, down to the ground. So that's the meaning of the height, perpendicular distance. Okay, using the ruler, and make sure the ruler here is a, uh, is a corner, it's a sharp 90 degree turn. Okay, you can't use this point because it's a bit curvy. Okay, you can't use that. Alright, so now let's move on to this other triangle, which looks slightly more different. And this is called an octus triangle because this angle here is more than 90 degrees. Alright, so let's start from something simple. Okay, let's start from this angle uh, triangle. Okay, so the base here, what's the base now? The base is the orange color and the purple color. Is it touching the ground? Yes. So what's next? Look at this other corner which is the green corner right so now from the tip of the um, corner right go down all the way until it touches the ground all right and I met I met when I start to measure it I realized that it's 4 cm 4.2 cm something like that all right so the tip of the corner down to the ground and you start to measure that's 4.2 cm all right and the base is from the orange corner to the purple corner so that can be the base now can there be another base yes there is so let's flip it now the base is green and the base uh, the base um, the corners involved for the base is green and orange so where must your height come from from the tip of this purple color so let's look at the tip of this purple color now what I'm gonna do is I bring it down until it touches the ground so from the tip of the purple color as you can see here right it's pointing to 8 so from here I know that the height is 8 cm from the tip of this purple down to the ground what do you notice okay you notice that over here it's empty but you need to know that the base must be touching these two corners of the triangle right the height doesn't mean it has to be in between the base it can be outside the base so don't be uh, don't get too worried, okay? Whether the base is outside or inside, that doesn't matter. But most importantly is that if you know the base is this two color, the height must come from the other corner. And then you drop down or drop down your ruler and then you draw the perpendicular distance based on the ground. Alright? So you don't have to care about this distance here. Right? So lastly, we are down to the last um, side of the triangle, which is this portion here, which is which is the purple and the green corner. So now, since the purple and the green corner are base of the triangle, so what corner do we look at? The orange. So holding this tip, using the help of a ruler, okay? So, from the tip of the orange corner, we drop down the ruler, okay? Make sure the triangle is still touching the ground, okay? Drop down until it touches the ground. From here, we realize that the height is 7 cm, all right? It's a bit bright, so let me uh, make it less bright if possible. Okay, so as you can see, all right, now my you can see that it's pointing to seven. Okay, so over here we know that height is seven because it's from the tip of the orange corner down to the ground. So this is the so-called uh, wrap you need to memorize. So first. The wrap is that you put the triangle on the ground. Um, the two corners must be touching the ground. So the other corner must be the height. So drop down a ruler and touch the ground. And that will be your height. Okay? So remember again. Two corners down on the ground. Okay? The other corner has to be from the height. So you drop down your ruler down to the ground. And that's the height. So try to remember this. Okay? And that will be very helpful for you to find the height of the triangle.
Yeah. So right now, after explaining all this turning around of your triangles, we have to do some paperwork. Okay. And what's the paperwork? Is by looking at this triangle, you must try to find height. Right. So that will be part two of the video because um I have a time limit on my video. So I'm gonna pause for now and gonna continue soon. All right.